Welcome back from Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with another high box. This is extended series from this year. It's again, giving you guys a little bit of a break from uh, series two. Plus, trying to fill out my young gun set. Uh, if anybody watches the, the channel, if you guys watch this, you know, or maybe you're finding out for the first time. I kind of enjoy actually, you know, building my young guns sets um, by pulling them. Is it the smartest thing financially? Heck no. Uh, terrible idea. But it's something I like to do. So we're going to get into this. Going to open a hobby box of 2021-2022 Extended Series. Uh, if you guys haven't checked them out lately, I got a lot of videos. If you like hockey card openings, uh, Series 1, Series 2, SPA, Series 1, Series 2 Extended from last year. Uh, lots of stuff on the channel. I also just uh, opened a hobby box of Series 1. And then broke down uh, the upcoming Series 1 Young Gun class and like some of the guys and just come with some of their stats that you might not know uh, and a little bit about them. So if you guys want to go check that out, that is the last video uh, in here. I got a box falling behind the camera. That's fine. Did I get shorted? I never do this, but like, did I get shorted a pack? 24 packs, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, they just shifted underneath. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, no, nope, we're good. They just got moved around. I was all messed up there. I'm sure you that's that's 30 seconds of your guys' life that you'll never get back uh, watching me verify. But that's the nice thing about the channel is I can do stuff like that. And then if I ever have to like show proof that I'm not lying, I'm like actually look, there's a channel where I post all my videos and you can see that I was missing a pack. So here we go. Uh, on to the first one. Alexander Holtz, Turcotte, Paterka, uh, some of the big names in this. And then Young Guns Tributes, you can get those. And a lot of cool inserts. That's my favorite thing about Extended Series last year and this year. The inserts are way better than anything in Series 1 and 2 from this year. So, uh, Cody Cece, Brock McGinn, come on, focus there. Sam Lafferty, and oh, Claude Giroux in the Tribute. These are... Oh, cool. Does that seem a to me? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, Claude Drew, now Ottawa Senator, is our first hit. David Rich, Michael Bunting. We now have had... In <laughs> we have Michael Bunting in this one. We have a Michael Bunting Young Guns canvas in here. Series 1 has a Michael Bunting second year, whatever, non-Young Gun... Um, of him with the coyotes and then obviously his young guns cam or young guns from last year's extended series so over the last three products we've had four michael bunting cards that are just base or young guns can't make this stuff up uh jake holden mason, mason appleton uh inaugural Corey perry and this is was the sp x and this is uh gregory denisenko there we go Again, this looks way better than like Electromagnetic, Hundo P, you name it. That looks a hundred times better. I'd love to collect that set way more than anything, any of those other sets. That, the Black Diamond, you name it in here, they're all better. Uh, Mark Pissick, Nick Dowd, James Reimer, I think this is our first young gun. Here we go. Da, 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 da. For the Senators, Lassie Thompson. So there we go. I don't think I've hit Lassie Thompson yet. So that's actually a decent hit for me. Out of my uh, Young Guns for the last one, uh, Series 1. Every single card I'm pretty sure I already had uh, in my checklist. Once again, like my last video, I'm opening this as the same night as my Series 1. I'm doing that, doing this during the big storm. Uh, it's hitting the Maritimes right now on Friday night. So if I just go black all of a sudden, it just goes dark and you're like, where did Eric go? Uh, and then all of a sudden the video starts up and I'm, you can see me, it's daylight. Because right now it's nighttime. And if it goes dark here, you're going to lose all of it. There's going to be nothing 
Uh, it is so dark in here. I'm in the basement, everything else. Uh, Christian Dvorak, our next young gun, is going to be for the Hurricanes. Kind of fitting. It, it's literally a hurricane outside. Uh, Seth Jarvis. So I haven't hit Seth Jarvis either, and that's another one. That's He's uh, Holtz, Jarvis. Uh, he, Seth Jarvis was the other one I missed, but Alexander Holtz, Turcotte. Seth Jarvis is a big one. Come on. There we go. That's pretty sweet. Excited for that one. Hurricanes are on the brink again. I don't know what they're going to do. Uh, backdrop of the day, as you can see, uh, we got Jack Eichel. We got Austin Matthews. And we got a Pierre Luc Dubois. I kind of enjoyed my whole, like, you know, podium thing I did last time with a first overall pick, a second overall pick, and a third overall pick. So I decided to do it again. Uh, again, some different draft classes, different cards. They're all just young guns. So pretty cool. Plus, I get to show off some of my PSA submissions. Shameless plug. Uh, here we go. Next one. Thomas Nosak, Ryan Graves out of Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Uh, Jacob Voracek. We got Dan Ballard. And our first canvas is a Jonathan Drouin. Former Halifax Moosehead. I will let them have him. Let him. Let them have rights to him. Tage Thompson. So. Jonathan Duran. Feel bad for the guy. He just. Obviously he's dealt with a lot of stuff too. But. Just had a hard time. That felt thicker. It's not. But. Felt like it. Nick Letty. Evgeny. Uh, Sveshnikov. Curtis McDermott. And a young gun. This is for the Canadians. This is. Matthias. Norlander. So there's another one I haven't pulled yet. This is actually pretty good. I'm like actually filling out like my young guns checklist here. So here we go. Matthias Norlander. Get th going three for three for young guns I haven't hit yet. I haven't opened up a whole lot of extended series to be fair. Uh, I didn't buy a case or anything. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do for Series 1. If I just want to buy six boxes like I did for Series 2 this year. If I want to order a whole case. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence of it. You guys let me know what you think I should do. A whole case or just a six box. Uh, flower. And our French is Brock McGinn. I don't know why I put these aside. I'm, I'm never going to... Nobody collects those. I think he went like... It's like I put them aside thinking that someone's going to collect the set and I can sell them at a card show or give them away at a card show or anything it's just no nobody collects the french variants let's just be honest here uh adam fox Giannis donskoy alexander true former moncton wildcat keith yandel once again now retired and this is the regular this is john gibson in the tribute i love the tribute cards that's a set i'd like to put like that stuff to me cool once again Give me cool stuff like that. Give me cool stuff like SBX. Uh, all the stuff in here. Give me all those over pretty much anything else. Uh, Nathan Bastian, Logan O'Connor, Connor McDavid, Matt Waugh, and a Spectrum FX. Oh, no, there's a holographic story of Igor Shesterkin. So this is just the NHL holographics. This is the vet ones. You know, let's get the rookie ones. I you know I got like a Spencer Knight, a couple other ones over off screen somewhere. So, so hey, Seth Jarvis, this is already a pretty good box. Not gonna lie to you. So, uh, Jakob Trennan, Jaden Schwartz, uh, Peter Morazic, and our black diamond is gonna be Cole Cylinder. So, not a bad black diamond hit. Cole Cylinder, the double black diamond. That's a, he's like a level two. I'm just going to put it over there. I only have one sleeve before I got to open a new pack. And so instead of doing that, I'll just hold off. I will take that, take that one sleeve out though. And away we go. Back to the, back to the business. Uh, nice thing about these extended series boxes too. Once again, there's no huge young gun, right? I guess, uh, ciders in here. So ciders canvas is in here. So that'd be a good hit. Um, but for the most part, you're looking at um, your six young guns, but you get a tribute young gun. So 
Once again, not a huge value for it, but if it's a decent name, you can get a couple bucks for it typically. And Jonathan Huberto for the Florida Panthers was apparently very unhappy initially at the Panthers front office uh, for trading him. Can you blame the guy? He just kind of has a wicked season for them. Puts up over 100 points quietly and uh, they ship him off to Calgary. Crazy. And give a bunch of picks and stuff for him too. So here we go. Matthias Yanmark, Marcus Johansson. It's a canvas. Philip Deneau, former Moncton Wildcat Philip Deneau. There you go. You guys are going to know the whole history of the Moncton Wildcats if you watch this channel for long enough. Eventually, you're going to see all the all the former Moncton Wildcats. So, it's one of the highlights of uh, Series 1. Uh, Jordan Spence, former Moncton Wildcats, going to be in it. So, another Moncton Wildcat uh, in the sets. You guys have had a couple of them lately, so I've been kind of spoiled. Uh, Tucker Pullman, Adam Boakvist. And this is going to be our Young Guns tribute for the Buffalo Sabres. Not terrible. John Jason Paterka. I actually think this kid could be pretty good. Um, so I like that. That's, that's a nice hit for me. And I think the kid could do some really nice things for the Buffalo Sabres. I think he's got the potential to add to that kind of growing group. Like it's it's crazy what they got, <laughs> they're building over there. Once again, it is Buffalo. Uh, I'm sure Jack Eichel's sitting there shaking his head, thinking like, "Where was all these pieces and all these other good rookies when I was in here?" Um, but that's what it is. You got uh, you get Tuck there. You got. Uh, Peyton Krebs that got traded there with through the whole Jack Eichel trade. So lots of lots of good players that went back, plus some picks, obviously. Uh, why is this backwards? Okay, William Eklund. Uh, out of 300, why is this having such a hard time focusing? There you go. Out of 300, it is 5 out of 300. That's the blue. That's a sweet-looking card. William Eklund, I gotta get more. I gotta, gotta open this other thing of sleeves. Uh, first round pick. I think he was drafted in twenty twenty one, if I remember correctly. Uh, twenty 2020 twenty or twenty twenty one. I think it's twenty twenty one. I believe he was like seventh overall, something high end um, for him. Now he does play for San Jose, and they're kind of in a rebuild with not a whole lot of exciting pieces. Uh, so it's not like the same scenario as a Anaheim or something where it's like, oh, well, it's a rebuild over there too. It's like, yeah, but they got Trevor Zegras and they got Mason McTavish and they got Jamie Drysdale and they got insert then 10,000 names. Um, but there we go. It's a sweet looking card. I like that a lot. That's in. Another reason why extended series is way better than series one and two. Just from the inserts, not the actual young guns crops, but just the inserts, way better. Uh, Ryan Reeves, Danton Heinen. Yep. Uh, <laughs> what we got here? Oh, this is one of those record ones. I think these are like a case hit. Sidney Crosby, NHL records, 2008-2009 season. And what does it say? At the age of 21 uh, and five days, 21 years, 10 months, and five days, Crosby became the youngest NHL captain to lead his team to a Stanley Cup title when the Pittsburgh Penguins lifted the cup in 2009. So, it's crazy. Three cups, gold medals, you name it, the guys got it. Like, you couldn't put any more pressure on this kid if you tried. You really couldn't. I know everyone's not a big fan of Sidney Crosby. You know, he used to whine back in the day, which... To be fair, he whined, but pretty much any good player does. Um, but he had every, you know, thing against him. Everybody pushed back at him. Everyone told me he couldn't do it uh, and that he'll never, you know, live up to the expectations. And what has the guy done? 
just done everything. He'll finish as a top. I don't care if you hate Sidney Crosby. At minimum, he's a top 10 player of all time. Minimum. I don't care what you say. If you think otherwise, then you're probably wrong. Um, Jack Eichel. Lundstrom, another black diamond. This one is Sebastian Ajo. The vet. Sonny Milano just signed a contract somewhere else. Uh, Peyton Krebs, there we go. Buffalo talking about some of the building blocks over there. And Nate Thompson. But minimum, Sidney Crosby is a top 10 player when he finishes. And he once again, he was Sid the Kid, the next great one. That you name you put a you put it behind him. He was kind of called it, right? So uh, next young gun is for the Canadians. Michael Pizzetta. Pretty sure I pulled that already. Why is my camera being so like wonky tonight? It's good for the first video. I said I didn't clean off the lens, maybe. Oh. Michael Bazzetta, I'm pretty sure I already got him, but it's fine. Never hurts to hit you know, more stuff here. Got lots of decent amount of packs left, so. Oh, we got a Young Guns canvas. Let's go. Here we go. Is it? Or is this something else? No, this is a finite. There we go. Ovi. Ovi's in the house. Another guy that's going to go down as top 10. These are super high numbered at the bottom there. This is 0691 out of 299. 299, 2999. So there we go. OV and the SPX Finite. Now I think they could probably make those a little bit lower numbered. Just add a couple more players into it. But still, numbered hit, right? People like numbered hits, they're cool. Uh, Victor Arvidsson, Belmar, Goodrow, Alex Tuck. Once again, there's that other uh, building block. And Tristan Jari in the Dazzler. Once again, different uh, quality control from Series uh, 1 as Extended Series and Series 2. So even these Dazzlers look way better in Series 2 and Extended than they did in series one. Uh, also reach out, I will let you guys know uh, what I hear back, but I reached out to Upper Deck about my um, Trevor Zegras and it kind of being all flaky on the sides and stuff, trying to see if I can get that replaced. Um, I know I had needed the, the number on the box, I needed the receipt, so I kept both of those things. Hopefully they will uh, kind of help me out and get me a replacement for it. You know, my yeah, it was a good hit. I'd like to have a Trevor Zegers in, in good shape. Uh, Hollow uh, FX, Hollow Graphics, sorry. Jamie Drysdale, speaking of him earlier. For the Anaheim Ducks. Just another building block there. It's crazy. And you think about it, they have a lot of guys that are coming up. Uh, slash Young for that program. Be nice to see what they can do with it. Uh, Ekman Larson, Scott Wedgwood, Darren Helm, Stanley Cup champion. I also feel like Darren Helm's like 72 years old. He's not, but feels like that man. That's the age of that man. And for the Flyers, Felix Sandstrom. I don't think I pulled this one either. I might be wrong. But there we go. Felix Sandstrom said I didn't open a ton of extended series. Um, so I have a lot of <laughs> a lot of holes in my Young Guns uh, checklist that I need to kind of still fill. So I'll throw him in a sleeve just in case. Me as well. So Seth Jarvis is the big hit. Paterka is a decent one, though, uh, for the tribute. Like I said you can get some all the other guy, all the other big rookies. So he's not the craziest hit, but we got Seth Jones. And a young gun for the Ducks. Bryce Kid Kindop. Kindop. Bryce Kindop. Why is it having such a hard time? Which card in the background is it having a hard time focusing because of? There you go. Bryce Kindop. Isn't he older? 99. Not the oldest. But Bryce Kindop. I believe I needed him for the set too. 
couple of guys in the back. Two packs left. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, like I said, always get a lot of hockey stuff. I do started doing a couple uh, card show vlogs too. So if you want to go check those out, they're on the channel. Um, I don't travel the world to go to card shows. If they're close to me, I'll go to them. So essentially my, my town, I got one coming up on the 15th of October. Um, maybe I'll put the poster up after this pack before we get to the last pack. Um, but I got a show there. I actually was supposed to be at a show by the time it's passed by the time you guys would have seen this. Uh, but I was supposed to be going to a show last weekend as you guys would have seen this. Um, uh, but the big storm kind of canceled it. So see what we can get here. Sam Reinhardt, a Brayden Holtby, what the, what a pose. Um, but yeah, so I do a couple of those. Just going to try to do them more, like I said, as much as I can with the shows around me. So, uh, yeah, there's that poster there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing that. Like I said, last pack up here. Yeah. See what we can pull. Pulled all our young guns, I think, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, I think that's what we got there. So let's see what we can get for the last hit. Formington, Cockneyemi. And our last one is another canvas. This is a Linus Allmark. One of the most kind of funniest things from the year was the Linus Allmark and Jeremy Swayman kind of bromance uh, after wins. So not a Bruins fan, but I do have a Bruins fan that I'll be going to. So once again, overall, not a bad box, not the craziest box, but you're not going to get crazy hits typically in extended series. Um, I guess the other big hits like a Mason, the Moritz Sider, Young Guns Canvas, uh, you could always try to hit that. Once again, your uh, Young Guns Canvas, one in every four boxes, I think. Uh, and then obviously you got to cut down the numbers and actually hit the more outsider. So, uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this. Um, like I said, like, subscribe, tell your friends, follow us on Instagram, all those other things. And for Eric from the bench, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.